The Walking Dead, a TV show that so many people have left it, even its main character decided to peace out. How is that not a meme yet? I mean, someone has to make that a meme. The Walking Dead just dropped it, just dropped its entire audience that even its main character left. How is that not a meme? Anyway, The Walking Dead Season 9. So The Walking Dead Season 9 is the final season that we have with Andrew Lincoln. And now, I don't really know if Andrew Lincoln is really done with The Walking Dead because Henson... Henson stuff is out there that he's going to return for The Walking Dead, Rick and Michonne seasons, I guess. But anyway, for some reason, he decided to leave this season, and now and now we get to talk about season 9. And the reason why I bring that up is because that's really the only thing that people remember out of season 9, was Andrew Lincoln leaving. But anyway, it takes place um, months, maybe even a year, after the main war, the main war between... Negan and Rick. I mean, the Saviors are still alive, by the way. They're just a part of the whole, the whole group dilemma. The Kingdom, the Hilltop, Alexandria, and the and the Saviors are all still alive, but there is still some conflict there. I mean, what did you expect after a war? I mean, Rick does whatever he can to, to, to make a to make peace and also to give everybody a position in order to rebuild society. And you can tell that they have been working on that. It's just. It's just, well, you know, conflicts, problems, and stuff just to get episodes going. But nobody was really interested in any of those episodes. The episode that people were really looking forward to was Andrew Lincoln's final episode. And did it live up the hype that that we wanted to see? Well, yeah, it definitely did. I, I It's got to be my favorite episode out of Season 9. The way they played it out, the way that, that, the way that he goes out was... Pretty good for me. And I didn't really expect that he would go out the way he did, but still though, we have a, we have an ending for Rick Grimes, I guess, in The Walking Dead. Allegedly. He's coming back anyway. But then again but then after that episode, it jumps several years into the future, and now it's focused on his daughter, Judith. Judith is now <clears throat> wearing the hat, she has the gun, she has basically the getup of her her brother and father, and I'm sitting here thinking to, thinking to myself, how the heck are they going to continue this storyline without Carl or without Rick Grimes? Because I know the Whisperer storyline, and they had major roles in that storyline in the comic books. <coughs> yeah. I guess they had to improvise. But anyway, anyway, this was the season where they... Fired the people that did that loop storytelling. They fired the people that were making a bunch of complicated storylines. It's now straight main character focus. We in focus, well driven, well written down, well acted, and all and all such. It felt like it felt like it, if an episode ended, I can watch the next episode to find out exactly what happens next. No more of that one month waiting BS that we've gotten from the last couple of seasons. We're now getting the full story. Except it came a little too little too late at this point. I mean, that was for me. I think my point I think my point of leaving the show was when was when the good guys are coming back from talking to the whispers and you see the line of heads on that hilltop. That was one of the most shocking moments in the comic books, but when you find out whose head is on who, I just sat there going, oh, come on! Seriously? You couldn't make it a whole lot more shocking? But Because in the comic books, major characters were on those poles. I mean, I was actually, my jaw was legit on the floor when they showed all the characters that got beheaded and were in that, in that, li were in that line. Instead, they just killed off a bunch of minor characters. Some of them that you did get to know, but a lot of them was... Oh, man. How do I really explain that? All right, let's get my mind off of it. Uh, let's talk about the Whispers. The Whispers are are okay. I actually really enjoyed Alpha. I enjoyed the, the fact that... I enjoyed the fact that... That her group of people have their weird, insane religion... Saying religion, thinking that walkers are still people, and they wear walker faces, they walk with, with the herds and all such. The the way they introduced them was pretty cool. I mean, you have G, you have Jesus out there killing a bunch of, 
killing a bunch of walkers, killing them, and then one walker just straight up pulls out a knife and stabs him, and you're just sitting there going, wait, what just happened? Oh, and, and for me, I was the guy that read the comic books, and I said, oh yeah, we're doing the, the Whisperer storyline. This is going to get interesting, because not only is the Whisperer storyline really good for a storytelling purpose, but another character, aka Negan, comes back from the dead. Like, legit, comes back. Now, I'm not... All right, let me rephrase that because I mean, I, what I meant was is that he goes from the bad guy to a somewhat okay guy. I wouldn't really say that he becomes full on good guy. I mean, this is a this is a type of guy that actually legit believed that what his way was the right way. It was just not the way that everyone wanted to go down, and he was considered the villain. Ever. He, when the war ended, Richter did not want him to die. He wanted him to be in prison to watch this brand new world show, show up just to prove to Negan that his way was not the right way. We can rebuild society. We can change the world for the better. And you are going to be down here to watch the whole thing. So he goes from that sna snappy, snarky guy to the guy that's curled up into a little ball in front of Maggie saying he wants to die because he wants to be with his wife. He's really become a different person. And the, and the way they write it out in this season was pretty good. It was just too little too late. And when I was watching every single episode every week when they came out, this was the season where I was like, I'm done. I, I just can't do it anymore. But I'm not going to stop do doing reviews for The Walking Dead, I'm still going to do the next couple of seasons, and I'm going to finish up break, the Breaking Bad series. And I'm actually curious. I got a lot of attention doing Breaking Bad and The Walking Dead, and I'm curious of what you guys want to hear next. What TV shows do you want to hear next? Whatever you think, comment that down below. Also, I need to rate this season. Season 9 of The Walking Dead, major step up from the long list of seasons that had their writing problems or storytelling problems this one was focused it was online it was pretty good so i will say so i will say the walking dead season nine is classic i mean the characters are still the same even after a couple of years things have happened i forgot to mention all of that but i guess we'll find i guess we'll find out in season 10 but anyway those are my thoughts on on season nine have you guys seen it what did you think of it whatever you thought comment down below also don't forget to leave a like subscribe and share and i'll see you in the next video Bye.